Hey guys, this is going to be my video on how to set up your Waylong. This is a Waylong version 2. So I'm just going to show you how to dis disassemble it if you got the assembled version and then how I set up my Waylongs. So what you need is your Waylong, your screwdriver, and your lubricant. Uh, I'm using 50k Traxxas. So first thing you want to do is completely disassemble your Waylong. So I just take out one edge, so turn it 45 degrees, just do that, and then twist it counterclockwise until it pops out. Sometimes it takes a lot of force. In this case, since this tube is pretty tight, it took a little more force than usual. So you just disassemble the entire cube. I'm not going to be assembling this solved, so I don't really care. I'm just going to put all of them in a pile. So all the centers, okay. Has there's a smooth side, and then there's one side here that has a little ridge, and you just put your nail under that ridge, and it comes off. So you just do that on every side. So put those aside. So now you just take your screwdriver and you unscrew all of these. Just completely unscrew it and just set them aside. So this was brand new, uh, the unboxing this was part of Light Take's uh, test cubes that they gave me, so this is completely brand new. I didn't even break in any of the plastic. So there's a, apparently there's a chance of having some washers missing, so if any of them are missing I'll be using WIT2 version 1 washers, but you basically just take everything apart like this, and I'm just going to, once it's broken down this much, I start with lubricating, so uh, I just check to make sure the core is Good enough. So like if there's any extra plastic, like there isn't that much extra plastic. Sometimes there's extra plastic on the core. But you basically just take out everything. This one doesn't have a washer. This one does. So you just take out everything from the centerpiece. So basically the centerpiece. This is one without a washer. And this one also doesn't have a washer. That's weird. I may have to resort to Zanshi. Yeah, so usually there's a washer at the bottom. So that's how it looks when there is a washer. You just get rid of it. You might have to use your use a toothpick or something to remove it. So now you take a washer, a screw, a spring, and a centerpiece. So the washer, so first you take a small drop of lube. 
I usually use this much. I, yeah. It's not going to focus. So I usually use this much lube and I lubricate the very bottom ridge where that washer was. So So now I take the washer. So there's two sides to the washer. This is the rounder side. It's more shiny. This is the flatter side. It's not as shiny. So you take the rounder side and you put it towards the bottom and you take the flatter side and put it towards the spring. So I usually just the shiny side is here and the flatter side is here and then I just drop it in to the center piece on the bottom so now it's lying down there and then I take the same amount of lubricant and I put it on top of the washer so that much lubricant and I just twirl it around the surface of that washer and then I take the same amount again and I put it on this top ridge this yeah that ridge where this screw is the screw head is usually lying on top of and then you just repeat that for the other five center pieces so once you have done that all you do is you put a screw and a spring into each of the center pieces like this and now you just take one of the center one of these this, yeah, and then you take your core and your screwdriver and you do this. I usually just hold it like this and then I screw the core onto the screw so that it can go in. I know that it will be going in straight. So it's a little harder on the way long but yeah you just I can't do it with my left hand that's why but you basically just screw it on and then I usually do it this tight I start it off with this much left in between So I make sure it's that much on each side. So all you do is you make sure that all of them are off by that much on each side. So I'll be back after I screw in all six of these center pieces. So now that you have all of these done and all of them have approximately the same tensions, they don't need to be exact because I'm going to tension afterwards. This is pre-tensioning. So that I have all the sides approximately the same, it just makes it easier to tension the entire cube later on. So now you take your lubricant again and you're going to lubricate this space in between here. This space right there. So same amount of lubricant as last time. Whoops. That is, yeah, that's approximately the same. So you just take that and you put it right in between there. I'm going to just make sure that's the right amount. So now that you have that lubricant there, you just lightly break it in. And I usually just put a random center cap on it so I know that it's been lubricated already. So now you just do the same thing to the next one. approximately that much and then you just put it right in between right there if you can see that and then you just break it in I usually just do it like this it breaks in both sides at the same time it doesn't really matter so one more 
demonstration that much and then put it right in between so yeah and then you just break it in and you just do that for every single side So now I just do this on all sides to break it in a little more. So now you can just assemble your cube about halfway. So basically this is how I assemble the way long. So I just make a block here. You basically just take this and then you just start one here and then you just slide it on and then I just take a corner and put it on top of that and then I just keep building so the only difference is I leave one spot out so after this I start building the top layer So now that it's like this, I start lubricating. So I take an edge piece and I just lubricate the contact points basically. So I just put one here, a line here, some on here, and then here and here and there on the edge piece. So basically I'm going to use the reflection to show you. But yeah, so right here and then that. So I got cut off because of some uh, people came home. So basically I don't I just put in the corner and now I'm going to lubricate the corner. So, I'm just going to put dots and then one on the base. And that's basically where there's actually contact. So, just the surface and then one right there on that base. It's not going to. I accidentally lubed the sticker, but don't lube the sticker. So basically, right there. And then I just put that in. And then I'm going to lubricate the exact same points. So if you missed it earlier in the video, I'm showing you guys again. So, same exact points. It's just the the surfaces between the ridges and then one right there and then the surfaces that are protruding out right there and then a spot right over here and then I just put that in and break the lube in. So, I usually just do random scrambles, like hand scrambles. And I'm going to take the center caps off because they're obviously on wrong, and I'm going to tension the cube after breaking in the loop. 
So you can tell from these tensions, they're already pretty good. So right now, they're, it's pretty loose. So basically I just corner cut 45 degrees on all sides. So seeing this, like that over here, how it's, yeah, like that, basically doing that, uh, that means the side is too loose. So I just double check and see that if, if it's mostly all the sides, and it is, so I'm going to actually solve it so it's easier for me to reference. Yeah, so basically all of them are loose, so I just Looking at how loose this is over here, I'm going to just tighten all the sides by half a turn, so like two one quarter turns. So all the sides are tightened by two one quarter turns. And I test the corner cutting again. So now it's less. So I'm testing the white side. No lockups when I do 45. Test the yellow side. There's some lockups, kind of. Like it's harder to corner cut, but it seems like it's not because of the yellow. It's only on certain angles. So I'm going to try the green. So basically just continue doing this. I see that it's harder, slightly harder on the red, and it's like it's locking up a little more, so I'm just going to time the red side by one quarter turn. And you basically just keep doing that until it's doing 45 without a problem on all sides. So like this, well, yeah, so this side, it's kind of locking up like this. So I am also going to time this side by a quarter turn. And it's still doing that, but it seems to be only be from this angle, so it might be the blue. Yeah, it's because of the blue, so it's hard to figure out which side you're supposed to tie in, but basically just look, figure out which sides seem to not corner cut. The blue is actually too tight, so when it's too tight, it just doesn't corner cut at all and like the pieces don't go apart they're stuck together kind of so I'm going to just for demonstration I'm going to tighten the blue by an entire turn to show you what would happen so if it does if it does this if the blue does this that means it's too tight so that's how you know to loosen that one side yeah, if it's just doing it like that, it's fine. And that's how I tension the cube. Yeah, so I think this is done. And then you just put the center caps on, and you have yourself a fully set up cube. So that's just how, this is how I set it up. Other people might do it differently, but that's how I do it. Thanks for watching.